pop my cherry. Okay, so I figured that would be like the best thing to start off with. I don't really know what I'm doing. One time I did like a little stand up for uh, like a community college and there was like first, second, third place and first place was like a bunch of books, sucked. Second place was like, I don't know, it was like some tutoring thing. It was just like I blanked out first and second because they sucked. You know, and then the third place was like you get 50 or or $100 or something for lunch. So uh, this is my second stand-up ever. The first one I did, I followed this guy that did a bunch of morbid jokes. You know, just like those ones that are just so, uh, you don't know whether to laugh at. But I laughed really hard anyways. And uh, so it wasn't too bad to follow. And most of my jokes ended up being about getting third place because I just wanted a bunch of food. And uh, so first got their first, second got their second, third got their third. And then they just gave me like a pity third. You know, <laughs> they just gave me a bunch of food. And I need it. So <laughs> it was like a little community charity thing at the same time for me being like, they kind of funny. And I, and then their kind of thing were like, we need to help this kid more than fucking Africa. <laughs> like, so this is my second uh, stand up ever. I, I figure I'm just going to do like stories from my life, just kind of go from A to uh, what I figure now is Z, I guess, because I'm just pitiful. A lot of my jokes are basically going to be just so pitiful, you'll laugh, you can't help it. So be prepared to just be depressed so anyways i'll start off with uh like the earliest memories i have are uh, second grade because in second grade i was just a bastard <laughs> i was terrible um i also discovered uh i discovered porn in second grade yeah yeah that which might be pretty like you know crazy but like you, Dude, I got like the worst ADHD in the world. So like, you know, I'm always looking for something to keep my attention and the internet's got a lot of that. <laughs> and uh, a lot of it wasn't to my liking, but you know, I don't know term names or anything. It's like my first go at it, you know, and I'm, I stay home from school. Yeah, I'm doing porn jokes about a second grader, but I'm a second grader, so it's not inappropriate. Anyways, so like, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be the first time you hear that. Um, <laughs> So like I stayed home from school and I'm looking at all this stuff and it was pretty bad. It wasn't it, like I, sh I, I might not even tell jokes about this because it's just it's pretty raunchy because I was curious. I'm a second grader. I don't know anything like bestiality, gay porn. I looked at it in second grade. <laughs> I didn't know what it was and I look at it and I do this face. For about 10 seconds, get a good breath in, and then exhale with the control W to get the fucking window out of my face. I didn't know what was what. I just thought I might just, like, look at everything. I'm like, gay porn? Oh, my God, two girls? That is better than one. And I look at it, and there's this guy in, like, a bed, and I'm just like, you know, I'm second grade. Keep that in mind. He's staying home from school, and then there's this guy in this bed, and I'm just like, uh... Uh, that isn't what I thought, but okay, just keep going. Another guy gets in the bed, and I'm like, mm, uh, okay, maybe the girls are kind of late. You know, maybe it's like a part of the plot. You know, like I got this fucking pizza to deliver, but it's like, yo, I'm totally late. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm second grade. Give me pity. And then my eyes just widened, and I was traumatized. I was just like the worst kid in second grade and uh, that is just like one of the examples I'm going to give you for like the setups of these. Uh, I would ask for like a crayon, she wouldn't give it to me, I'd hawk a loogie in her hair. Like just you know, like any random person, it wasn't like really like uh, I, I had a goal or anything, I just kind of had hyperactivity and I just kind of put it towards whatever I could. And I got a lot of pink slips. I was on Animal House, like, double seeker probation. <laughs> I went to the principal several times, and he told me, you're on probation, you're going to get expelled next pink slip. And I got the next pink slip, and he didn't expel me. Most of the time, it was because of things like, uh, in first grade, I wasn't good at reading or, or writing or spelling or anything. I was just, like, I was special. I was so special, said my mommy. And uh, I had to take, like, a, a special class, learning class in second grade, and uh, so I was like separated from the class, and I got like perfects on all my uh, basic standards tests and stuff, so like they knew I was smart, but I wasn't applied, 
And uh, so I had to get separated from this class and go over in the corner, <laughs> just shameful dunce corner. <laughs> and I had, to, I had to learn how to read and write and everything. And I got really, really good at it, like really quick, because like I was like, I'm gonna be this guy. So I just like <laughs> learned it like really fast. <laughs> and I, I ended up being pretty good at spelling. And like to give you an example, we had uh, our little desks pushed push together, and uh, there was like the you know double folders for the uh, you know like so you couldn't see each other's paper. And the word was thoughtful, and I was like, oh, these are one of those O U G H T silent motherfuckers. I got this. I got this in lock. And uh, I write thoughtful, and I write it exactly right. And I'm like, oh, I'm so cocky right now. I'm, I've got this on lockdown. And uh, I just like kind of peek over the person next to me because I got this ego going. And I'm just like, she spelled it wrong. <laughs> so I thought I'd just like, you know, kind of tell her like, yo, you spelled uh, number seven wrong. Because <laughs> I'm badass like that. And uh, she was like, Richard, stop cheating. And does that, you know, like the whole second grader thing, which is completely audible to the teacher. And she's like, stop cheating. And I'm like, no, seriously, like, this is how you write it. And I just write it on, like, a paper. And she's like, s smacks my hand. And she's like, Richard, stop cheating. And I'm like, you fucking bitch. And I just smack over the folders. And the teacher sends me onto the hall. This is second grade. And uh, she tells me to write like an apology thing. It was just like this whole huge blank white sheet of paper with tons of black lines. And I write every swear word I know. Erase it lightly and then just write sorry and give it back to her. Because <laughs> I learned swear words about a week before. So, so that's like a little bit of my upbringing. My parents were just, they've always been great, but they're insane as hell. So like, you know. <sighs> and uh, so I'll, I'll skip like a little bit ahead to uh, I'll just skip all of middle school because I took that uh, I took that Riddle and Adderall stuff. I actually took some uh, tests at the U of M. They studied me because I was such a curious case of Benjamin Button, and uh, it didn't go well. It did really good, you know, in some parts, but then other parts I just bombed. So my parents wouldn't be mad at me. But it's like you're super high up here, and then dude, you're so retarded that it was just obvious and then they got mad at me even more so they just threw more pills at me and I went to uh, high school at, uh, at Eastview so like here's a good start to my life and uh, I'm at Eastview and I have like no friends because at middle school they separated the bus lines where they get picked up so I ended up going to this other high school because I was right on the border and uh, they just yeah so I had like no friends the first two friends I met were just the most eccentric bastards I've ever met. One of them, like, uh, he pulled out a piece of gum in like Spanish class, and I asked for a piece of gum right as he put it back in his pocket, and he's like, oh yeah, for sure, and he pulls out like a piece of, you know, the Orbit pack, and he opens it up, and it's this like baggie full of like broken down gum. <laughs> he's like, oh my bad, that's crystal meth. I'm in ninth grade in Spanish class, and I'm just like, can I have some? <laughs> I didn't ask for some, but he definitely offered it. But I, I had pretty eccentric friends. We ended up like just uh, stealing uh, those little passes to skip class, you know, when like teachers give you to go to the nurse or like whatever. And we would uh, go to this uh, teacher's class where she was just not there for the last two hours of the day. And the study hall teacher knew we were skipping out. And uh, we just went to this class and watched Maury. And she happened to have a microwave in there. So we'd popcorn, watch Maury about how many sons, daughters this one woman had between all of her relatives. So that was a good start. And then in Egan, I, uh, all right, let me think. What should I do for the last little 10 seconds? Uh, you don't have 10 seconds. You don't have 10 seconds. You're done. My buddy, I, this is the first time. <laughs>